Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here, and in this video I'm going to show you guys an application referred to as the Galaxy View Remote. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. So the first step you guys will do is head over into the Play Store and search for Galaxy View Remote, hit on install, and then this is where you'd be able to get the application. And it asks you as you open it up for the first time to turn on the Bluetooth, not only on your Galaxy View, but also on your cell phone and pair them up via Bluetooth. And once you have that completed, now you are in full control of your device. I mean, you can actually go into, let's say, let's go to the Samsung Milk Music. And inside of here, this is where you'd be able to scroll down, hit on play. And you don't have to be extremely close to your tablet. You know, you can be up to 30 feet away and control this. So this is where you have the volume down and you also have volume up. And then you also have the mute button on the right hand side. Now let's say maybe you want to listen to some music and you want to turn off the screen. So let's turn this up a little bit. And there you go. That's how you turn off the screen and you'll be able to turn it right back on. So let's put this back on to mute. Now the other stuff you'd be able to do with this little cursor over here is let's move over into the left hand side where we'd be able to check out a list. So just so you guys know this is the same thing for internet or anything else where you'd be able to scroll. So as long as you have the cursor where there is a scroll ability I guess you can say this is where you'd be able to hit the arrow down if you want to scroll down and it works the exact same way when you are to scroll up and also if you're to go left and right on all the other screens as well. So now with this one here being done, uh, let's go back into either the recent app button where we'd be able to go into different applications, which right now all I have open was the Samsung Milk Music. If I had other ones, the rest of them will show. You can also hit the back button and then you also have the home button that is on your phone. So one of the other cool features of this is that it pretty much works exactly like your cell phone. So if you want to, you know, if you're touching the screen itself. So let's say you want to go into the settings or the notifications panel of the tablet. Just put your cursor to the very top, press and hold, and then you'd be able to pull it on down. And that is how you'd be able to check out notifications and get out of applications. Now, you know what? Can you do the same thing with moving uh, applications on the home screen? So let's move it over to Samsung Milk Music, be able to press and hold, and we can actually drop it into another screen or we can put it into one of these folders if we wanted to. So you can pretty much put anything and everything exactly where you would like it. Here is another feature that is really cool. Let's head over into this uh, Google taskbar. And what does it look like when you want to search for something? Well, this is what it looks like. It pulls up the normal, if you went to internet, uh, you know, Google Chrome, or you did the Google search bar. And then on the phone is where the keyboard is at. And so let's say that we want to uh, search for, let's just go to MSN. And then you just be able to hit on search. And this is where you'd be able to check everything out right here. And then you can also use the cursor on the very top to actually click on the link that you would like to have. All right, very cool. So let's actually head out back into the homepage. Now, the other thing in terms of the arrows is also with the home pages. So if I was to hit on the right arrow, it moves my screen over to the right. And same thing if I was to go on over to the left hand side and you also got the home button as well. And one little cool thing I've noticed that I don't really know exactly the purpose of it, but maybe there will be some applications or maybe Samsung's just ahead of the future of us. And that is actually multi-touch. So right over there, you see that there is a cursor. And so if I was to press and hold, I got a little hand right there. But if I was to put my finger on there again, I got two little hands moving around. Um, you know, what is this for? I have no idea. But I'll tell you what, whenever I uh, figure that out <laughs> for multi-touch, uh, I will let you guys know. So that was pretty much everything that this little uh, application is able to do. So pretty much anything you're able to do with your finger on the screen, you'd be able to do with this application. So I hope this has helped you guys out. Make sure you guys hit on like and subscribe, and I'll see you later.